Hi everyone, let's explore careers in speech language pathology where professionals play a vital role in preventing, assessing, diagnosing, and treating communication disorders. With the aging of the baby boom generation, the prevalence of health conditions such as strokes or dementia is rising. This is leading to an increased need for speech language pathologists. These professionals play a vital role in treating speech and language disorders in older adults. Additionally, rising awareness of speech and language disorders, especially in young children, has fueled a demand for specialized speech language pathologists, as has the growing need for professionals ready to address communication challenges in children with autism. Further, medical advancements have improved the survival rates of premature infants and trauma victims, adding to a growing demand for speech language pathologists. In fact, employment of speech language pathologists is projected to grow by 19% between 2022 and 2032, making it one of the faster growing careers. In 2022, about 171,000 speech language pathologists were working in the U.S. They were predominantly employed in educational services, followed by offices of therapists, hospitals, nursing homes, and long-term care facilities, as well as self-employed. The median annual wage for a speech language pathologist in the U.S. was 84,000 in May 2022, but salaries vary. Speech language pathologists working in nursing homes and long-term care facilities made the most with a median salary of approximately 101,000, and speech and language pathologists working in the field of education made the least with a median salary of approximately 77,000. However, that salary in education is likely due to schools being closed during the summer months, so they're not working a full 12 months a year with that. To become a speech language pathologist, you're going to need to meet a number of educational requirements. So first you need a master's degree and that typically takes around two years. Additionally, all states require speech language pathologists to be licensed. Licensing requirements vary by state, but typically require a master's degree from an accredited program, supervised clinical experience gained both during and after completing the program, and passing a licensing exam. A certificate of clinical competence in speech language pathology may satisfy some or all of the requirements for state licensure and may be required by some employers. Speech language pathologists who work in schools may also need a teaching certification. To be competitive for speech and language pathology graduate programs, there are a number of minimum requirements that you're going to have to meet. One of which is having completed the required undergraduate coursework in speech and hearing sciences required by the American Speech Language Hearing Association. ASHA. So you can see here on the screen, we have those listed out. So basic science and statistics coursework, as well as um, coursework that's specific to speech and hearing sciences. In addition to completing required coursework, you want to maintain a high GPA. The minimum required GPA most programs accept is 3.0, but the average for students who are actually accepted is much higher. Additionally, most programs require three letters of recommendation. The best way to get those is by getting to know faculty or helping them get to know you. This can be done by taking multiple classes, participating in class, going to office hours, and working as either a teaching or research assistant. Finally, one of the best ways to stand out when applying to speech and language pathology programs is by working or volunteering in speech and language pathology settings, which could be nursing home settings, long-term care, schools, or medical offices where speech and language pathologists are employed. As you can consider a career in speech and language pathology, keep these suggestions and requirements in mind. Your journey toward becoming a skilled professional in this field is just beginning. Please look in the video description for links to where you can find more information.